The tongue ram, also called tongue stop, is done by a flute player literally ramming his or her tongue directly on the embouchure of the flute. We rotate the head joint into our mouth and enclose the entire lip plate with our lips and then we slam the tongue right on the embouchure with an effect that is like this pretty much. So to demonstrate this It's a very interesting sound. The interesting thing about this particular technique is that the pitch is actually extended beyond the lowest note possible on our instrument. When I finger, for example, a low C on the C flute, what I end up getting pitch-wise is actually not a low C. This is the pitch of the low C, for example. But if I use that same fingering to try and produce the tongue ram, the pitch becomes... which is actually a C sharp that is a major seventh below the low C that I was fingering. So if you ever want to write something lower than the... Um, normal range of the flute, you can consider using Tang Ram as a technique. This is a, um, a technique that works much better uh, with lower notes on the flute. So it's a technique that doesn't work so well if you ask the flute player to finger a high octave note, for example. If I finger a high D, you don't really hear a really good sound, but if I finger a low D, It's a much clearer and more resonance quality to this. The tongue ram also works very well on the bigger flutes. For example, on the alto flute here. It takes a lot of air to produce this, this technique though but the, the result is quite resonant, I would say. However, on the piccolo, it's not near less effective as on the bigger flutes, that's for sure. Now, in terms of notation, of the tongue ram, you have to notate both the fingered pitch as well as the actual pitch. So if you want the actual pitch to be a low D in the bass clef, then you have to calculate up a major seventh uh, to give the flute player the correct fingering in order to produce that low D that you want. So if you do want the low D that is right in the middle of the bass clef, what you need to notate is actually a low C sharp on the flute, right at the bottom or just below the bottom of the uh, treble clef. So if I finger a low C sharp, I'll end up getting a D that is a major seventh below the fingered pitch. So again, the fingered pitch, you would use the diamond shaped note head and the actual pitch, you could use um, a triangular note head to notate.